Okay, so, um, great. hey guys, uh, this is Ryan Teal, and I am in the basement of Market Street Barbers in on Market Street in Louisville, Kentucky, and I am with one of my really good friends, uh, Roy J. White, um, the Hillbilly Barber. Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, what are we doing today? Well, you know, this morning when I was coming in to work, I was riding my motorcycle, it started raining, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a plate of biscuits and gravy, and I thought, Biscuits and gravy. Wow. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> yeah, right. I said, <laughs> you know, since you wanted to do something fun, let's go back a few moons ago and say, how about a mullet? Seems like a lot of fun. We don't mm -hmm. get a lot of those anymore, but if we do, let's teach some of these young guys a couple sections, a couple partings, so they can achieve that. Now, um, I was told that a mullet is actually a silver-backed fish in, in a lot of countries. Is, doesn't mullet have another... Like, like, like term and, and, and you know, doesn't it go by other words? I'm sure it does. I was always told two things, or well, I'll start with this. Mm -hmm. in, in Europe, they call it a moule. Uh, or a, or yeah. a, a mud flap. Yeah, well, that's that's more of, that's more of uh, Kentucky, the Kentucky okay. mud flap. Oh, okay, okay. You know, the Tennessee yeah. tidal wave. <laughs> Tennessee you know, the, title the Texas teardrop, <laughs> you know, the uh, the West Virginia waterfall. <laughs> party in front. Uh, uh, what Business in the front, the, yeah, yeah. party in the back, <laughs> right? Um, tell me a little bit about that uh, about the haircut before we get super into it. Yeah, so what I wanted to start with is back when I was in barber college, this was years ago, we uh -huh. would have guys come in and he would say, I want a shaved on the sides, spike on the top, and leave the back long. And I was like, so you want a mullet? He's like, no. I want it shaved on the sides, spiked on the top, <laughs> leave it long in the back. And I was like, I can do that. So the thing was is how do you connect it and make it all look like it flows? So one of the things I was watching uh, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and uh -huh. Billy Ray was a stay on that, and he had, the, the, the mullet evolutionized a bit. So it had evolved to where he had this really nice free-flowing brush on the top, long in the back, but his sides were still shaved down pretty short. Mm -hmm. so that's where I, that was the inspiration for this cut. Cool, cool. Well, I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Um, it's a fun haircut. Actually, I already saw it. I, I don't know why I'm lying to you guys. Um, hopefully, you learned something. If not, well, at least you got to see um, a mullet from from the hillbilly barber. Yeah, that's why it's not offensive to anyone. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, here we go. So I made a section over each ear, coming from the parietal. Clipped off the first. Going to start with some clipper over comb. If you notice here, I'll support underneath the clipper. So when we cut across the grain, we'll start from top to bottom. Clipper up. Over on the other side, same thing. If we cut across the comb, cutting all the hair. This is to remove. Great texture here. Mannequins are great. All right, I'm gonna use three sections on the top, seven and a half inch shear. If you look at my next section, I'm gonna cut underneath. If you have tension and hairs falling over your hand, there's my guide cut underneath the knuckle right there. So as long as I pull full tension, you get to see your guide take a large section of hair off. Continue that front to back, typical box layer. Find your guide, check, pop underneath the knuckle. Super simple. I over direct everything to the right hand side, find my corner. We're just going to take that corner off. So once again, check, corner, cut. And pop. We're going to do the same thing. So three sections on top of the head. Over direct to the left, find that text, pop. Corner's gone. With a seven and a half inch shear, you make one pop. Cut a lot of hair. It's great for efficiency. All right, now I'm gonna take a center section here. Center parting. Idea here is to get a wad of hair in your hands and over direct, taking up to the top section that's already previously been cut. Once I have that, you'll be able to see there's my guide. Take that section and now everything will flow in that nice little waterfall. Same thing on the second side. Just got to grab a lot of hair in this section, over direct to the corner, find a corner, and cut. 
nice over direction here falls soft marries and blends all right I'm a little too deep here so I'm gonna take a smaller section when in doubt pull out right all right nice texture so we can make sure this uh, nice mullet haircut has some uh, great shape We like to cut expensive looking mullets here. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go down to the perimeter of the haircut. Take off a little length so it sets right at the collar. So I'm pulling low elevation there, knocking off anything hanging. Then once I get to the corner, I'm gonna round the shape right there, one cut. Continue that onto this side find the last corner and this will marry everything all the way down super simple haircut thank you Billy Ray for the inspiration we're gonna go ahead and blow this out now I've got a nice free flowing mullet absolutely fun alright last thing here when we check triple zero we gotta make sure we take the entire sideburn off you don't want to leave any sideburn here so top of the ear cut it off Uh, soften a little bit up the comb here. Same thing on this side. It's a little heavy. Soften. Now we've got some nice free flowing texture. Here we go. This is what I created after biscuits and gravy this morning. I thought this was a fun haircut. I want to make sure that uh, this looks absolutely perfect whenever we put our hat on. Bam! Sets perfect. Check out our side profile that's going to come in over here. That's a nice mullet. Super fun. Thanks, Ryan.